Hello, and welcome to Yeti Academy. As the school administrator of a single, standalone school, you're responsible for loading your data in the order of staff, classrooms, and students. Students can be added either by uploading a CSV file, by adding them individually, syncing with Google Classroom, or by having them self-register. If you'd like to add your students with a CSV file, please be sure to note that you can download a sample CSV template just to make sure you've got the formatting correct. Just replace the information there with your own staff information. Another important thing to note is that the program accepts letters, numbers, and for special characters, underscores, dashes, or the at sign. There are two methods to uploading students with a CSV file. For the first one, select the Students tab from your dashboard. From there, select Add Students. Now, you can choose Import Students and be directed to download the sample CSV file or to upload their students with your own CSV file. For the second method, select the Management tab. Under this Data Import tool, select View Tool. Then, select 3, Upload Your Students. Now again, you'll be directed to download the sample CSV file or to upload students with your own. You can also add your students individually, which is a simple option if you've only got a few. So let's go back to that Students tab. Again, we're going to select the Add Students button. But instead of Import Students, we're just going to go ahead and select Add a Student. Now, here's where you'll fill out the information to add your student and include information such as username, password, grade, classroom, and name. When you're done, go ahead and hit Create. Now, there's a special circumstance where you might have added your class with Google Classroom, but you've since added a new student. If you'd like that new student in, then go ahead and resync it. What we're going to do is go to the Classes tab. Select the classroom that you've synced with Google. Now, select that Sync with Classroom button to resync your new students in. Finally, you can add your students with self-registration. To do this, you'll want to make sure your school portal is set up to enable student self-registration. I've included a link to our Solution Center on setting up your school portal, so please pause this video if you'd like to check it out and make sure your page has this feature enabled. Once you've done so, make sure you've provided the class code to your students so that they can register into the correct class. You can find this by going to your Classes tab, then, the code will be right next to the classroom that you choose. Your students can then visit your school's Yeti Academy domain and then select Student Self-Registration. Here is where they're going to enter the information to create an account for themselves. Should you have any more questions about adding students or any other area of the program, go ahead and check out our Solution Center that I've included in the description down below. Our Solutions Center is always growing to better suit your needs and answer any questions you might have. If you find that you're still confused, you can always reach out to support via the chat or by emailing us at support at yetiacademy.com. We hope you have a great time exploring the world of STEM education with your students.